Remember when Boeing ruled the skies like the 747, the Dreamliner? Those weren't just planes, they were flying legends. But while Boeing was busy building giants, Airbus was doing something different. They were building smarter, a smaller plane that could fly across the Atlantic, cheaper to run, easier to fill, and more profitable. That plane, the Airbus A321XLR. And it might just be the smartest move Airbus has ever made, one that completely outsmarted Boeing. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have been locked in a rivalry that shaped modern aviation. Boeing dominated the long-haul market with the 747, carrying entire generations across oceans, and later, the Dreamliner redefining comfort and efficiency. Airbus tried to fight back with the A380, the double-decker monster. Beautiful plane. Terrible timing. Airlines didn't want bigger planes. They wanted profitable routes. And that's where Airbus got clever. Instead of chasing size, they looked at what airlines were actually asking for smaller jets that could fly further for less. Here's the thing. Boeing built their strategy around major city pairs. London to New York, Tokyo to LA, Dubai to Sydney. But the world was changing. Passengers wanted direct connections between smaller cities, like Lisbon to Boston or Dublin to Miami, without the hassle of big hubs. Those routes didn't have enough demand to fill a 787 or 777, but the older narrow-body jets couldn't reach that far. Boeing even planned a new middle-of-the-market plane, the NMA, or what people called the 797. But it never took off literally. While Boeing delayed, Airbus quietly filled that gap. In 2019, Airbus announced the A321XLR, extra long range. It wasn't a brand new plane. It was an upgrade of the A321neo, a jet airlines already loved. Optimizing the wings and tweaking the structure, Airbus extended its range to nearly 8,700 kilometers. That's enough to fly from London to New York or from Rome to Miami one go. And here's the kicker. It still carries around 180 to 200 passengers. So airlines get the economics of a smaller jet, but the reach of a wide body. To put it simply, it's like turning your family car into a road trip machine. Same frame, same comfort, just way more efficient. The real genius wasn't just in the engineering, it was in the business strategy. Airbus didn't need to spend billions designing a whole new aircraft. They built on an existing platform, meaning lower certification costs, faster production, and minimal pilot retraining. Airlines could slot it right into their existing fleets. No new simulators, no new maintenance programs, just plug and play. Boeing couldn't do that. They were tied up fixing the 737 MAX crisis, struggling with delays and losing trust. By the time they thought about the NMA again, Airbus had already taken hundreds of XLR orders. Airlines love this plane because it prints money. Take JetBlue, for example. They're now flying direct from Boston and New York to London and Paris using A321s. Before, those routes needed wide-body jets, expensive to operate and hard to fill. Now, they can use a smaller plane, fly full, and still make profit. Same goes for Aer Lingus, United, and Iberia opening new thin routes that didn't make financial sense before. Fewer stopovers, cheaper tickets, more flexibility. The A321 XLR basically unlocked dozens of new transatlantic routes that Boeing simply couldn't serve. So, why can't Boeing just make something similar? Because designing a new mid-range jet takes years and billions of dollars and Boeing's hands are tied. After the MAX crisis, they've been under heavy regulatory scrutiny and short on cash for new projects. Their so-called 797 never made it past the drawing board. Meanwhile, Airbus already sold over 500 A321 XLRS before the first one even entered service. That's an entire market captured, before Boeing even moved. Sometimes it's not about who builds the biggest plane, it's about who moves first. The A321 XLR is changing how we fly. Instead of the old hub-and-spoke model, so where everyone connects through big airports like Heathrow or JFK, we're entering the point-to-point -point era. Smaller cities now get direct flights, fewer connections, and lower costs. And it's not just smart, it's greener too. With about 30% less fuel burn per seat than traditional long-haul jets, 
the XLR helps airlines meet stricter emission targets. It's literally reshaping global aviation route by route. So while Boeing was chasing bigger dreams, Airbus quietly built a smarter one. They didn't win with power, they won with brains. The A321 XLR proved you don't need a massive jet to fly far. You just need to be clever enough to design one that fits the world's needs. The only question now is, will Boeing ever catch up? Share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this.